Yo guys, what's going on? How to improve your shooting. Best way to become a better shooter in NHL 24 Hut. If you want to pinpoint those corners and be the best you can be at putting the puck in the back of the net, there's, there's some ways to do it. For instance, those pesky shots where you gotta specifically pick each corner, like the bottom right shots, something like this. If you want help with it, this is the video for you and it'll help you pick those corners even better. So let's look at an example of getting a puck down low to the right and hitting that objective. So what you're gonna see here is an example. Mitch Marner's coming in, he's deking and he's aiming the thumbstick. I'm aiming the thumbstick at around four o'clock, five o'clock, and that keeps the puck down low. That's the left thumbstick, and that's how you get that low shot. For an example of a bottom right goal, we're gonna go over it in this video. Yes, guys, Burke Crown coming out of the YouTube video, and that was a bottom right shot. That shot there would activate the objective so you can get it done, but let's go over how you can pinpoint those corners. I'm gonna show you a couple of clips of various different goals on both sides of the ice, picking the corners, and then I'm gonna show you how you can get yourself to be the best shooter in NHL 24 Hut and how you can become a sniper on the ice. So let's get into it, guys. I hope you do enjoy it. So a good example of a nice goal and how to aim and a basic scoring is through the slot and aiming one as I'm sitting here, I'm adjusting the left thumbstick. So you got to get fast at doing it. I'm adjusting the left thumbstick to be about 11 o'clock, 10, 10, 30, 11 o'clock on the left thumbstick that you skate with to pick that top corner. And that's how I'm so successful at getting that snipe and picking that shot. And then you're going to get another one here on the opposite side. Instead of 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock, you're going to be more like 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock to pick that far corner on the other side, beating the goalie's glove. And that's how you're going to pick that corner. You're going to see this puck go right up into the corner over the goalie's glove. And then you might see a couple of examples of short side where people score short side goals on you. And this is how they do it. So when they're swinging their body around, the goalie's covering the net, his shoulder's gonna come off the post, and that's when you really have to whip that puck up around 12 o'clock. Like you're sending it straight up into the top of that corner. So that's how you get that short side. Again, we're gonna go over all this in practice mode, and I'm gonna show you how I do it with some shooting aids, just to show you a better example of it. And then here's one, again, on the exact opposite side. When you're coming around the corner, you're gonna see Nylander just whip it straight up. And that's gonna be like 12 o'clock, just on the lighter side of 12 o'clock on the left thumbstick as you're skating. Here is the on ice aids as I go into practice mode. You wanna make sure shoot, aim, targeting is on. That's the most important one because that's gonna show you the little dot in the net, which I'm gonna give you an example of here. When you come in, you see me wiggling the right stick here. That's your deking stick. That's not the one you wanna wiggle. The left one, now you see the left stick is moving that blue dot and when the goalie's in the way it's red when it's blue it kind of got a hole when you see it go green that's an empty space now the goalie can still get there and make the save but that is how you move the left thumb stick around and aim it and that's when you'll get a better idea of you know one o'clock when i'm when i'm holding the thumb stick to one o'clock where's that get me so you see me here i'm holding like five o'clock to get that low corner and then i'm holding here like seven o'clock to get that low corner so to get your bottom corners, that's how you're going to play with it. And you're going to just do stuff like that. Now, if you're coming in on a breakaway or if you're coming in, breaking into the zone and you want to get a short side, that is an example of that. So you're going to come in, you're going to swing around. Now I'm going to show you a way of doing this in replay. And that's going to help you understand that when you're coming in to the zone, you go behind the net. When you hit about the goal line, that's when you whip around and you fire it like 12 o'clock on the thumbstick because it's going straight up you're aiming it straight up off your stick to get it over you got to get it right up in the air over that goalie's shoulder and that's how that uh that top goal short side goes in and it's the same on both sides you just kind of get good at it and that's when practice mode comes in and then you're going to see i come across i pick a, i pick a side and i try to shoot goalie makes a save so i'm going to try again here and i'm going to throw a deke and then I'm gonna throw it to that side. You're gonna see here in the replay, the exact same thing I just showed you, but we're gonna show you that on shooting the far side. And when you see you're squared up to the goalie here, we're gonna coast in and you're gonna see that whole right side is just bare. So you're gonna throw the thumbstick to around three o'clock, four o'clock, and that's gonna throw it past the goalie's pad 
nice, easy, low shot that's going to get to that open space that he's not covering. If you just shoot it at the net, it's going to hit him right in the crest. So you got to practice doing that shot. And then here's some deeks where you can utilize deking and aiming your thumbstick to get a goal. And this is where I'm going to pull the goalie away from my final target. And then if I needed a bottom right, I just aim it at around, you know, five o'clock and it'll slide the ice. Or if I want to go top shelf, you aim it at around 10 o'clock and it'll go top shelf. So it's all in where you're trying to aim it. But when you're deking, you aim it after you do the deke and you take the shot. And that's one way of uh, executing the aiming assist. And I show you, you know, the goal we love the most. And that is the breakaway Michigan. Ah, oh, I love that. It wouldn't be a video without it. Now, here's where... Because a, goal, uh, yeah, a video without the breakaway Michigan, how do we not do that? I love it, and I hope you enjoy the pack at the end of this video. I hope that video really does help you guys. I hope you can get out there and pick your corners. And, uh, yeah, get out there. Be a sniper. If you did enjoy this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget that sub button down below. And comment if you're going to go hit the practice and give this a shot. Don't forget to turn on your shooting aids, guys, to help you out. They're on your on-ice trainers. Turn them on so you can see the targets moving around. But thank you guys for watching this video. Till next time. Ciao, ciao. Boys, here we go. We got a fantastic XP level. Level 30, 15 XP collectibles gets you an untradeable mini pack, mini ultimate pack, which is huge. Actual good value out of the level XP set. It's rare, but we got actual good value. Let's open this bad boy up and see what we got. All right, here we go. Mini ultimate pack, 980 pluses. Can we see a gorgeous purple? Yes, we can. Bobby Carpenter, let's go. Big purple out of the mini ultimate pack. Absolutely fantastic. You can't hate it. It would be greedy to ask for another one, but I would take another purple right about now. And not going to get it. Unfortunate, unfortunate. But we got a massive purple pull. Bobby Clark, Carpenter, let's go.